Hello, Jonathan Kramer. Hello, Dudley. It's so good to see you here. It's so good to be here with you and to see you again. It's been a while. We live on opposite sides of the continent, mm -hmm. and so our visits are few and far between and very precious because of that. When did we first meet? We met in 1978 in Tucson, Arizona. I was a student at the University of Arizona studying with cello with Gordon Epperson. But how we met, uh, you and, and Dean, I don't remember. But I was interested in improvisational cello and Dean played flute. I don't think you had any recordings out at that point. There was no soundings of the planet. I think soundings of the planet in a way began with our meeting because we started playing together and something just clicked between us. We fed off of each other and, uh, and just we enjoyed each other's company too. So it was, you know, the, the personal relationship. And we had children of the same age. We both, me and, and, uh, and you all had two daughters. I had two daughters, you had two daughters. They were the same age, the older one, the same age as the older one, the younger, the same age as the younger one. And the kids played together. We would get together and Dean and I would play music. And one day, Dean said, let's record outside. Was it recorded outside? It seems to me it was recorded out of doors. So Dean had gone out into the desert early in the morning and recorded the bird song. And then we recorded just, you know, you play what key? We're going to play in the key of C. And I started, and Dean joined in. Dee-dum. Da 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 That was the beginning. And then we just took off from there. And then Dean started harmonizing that little melody. And off we went. Now, I was enrolled at the University of Arizona. I had been a hippie back in, you know, 10 years earlier. I dropped out of Wesleyan University and traveled the country with my own music group called Jonathan's Minstrel Band. And then had got married and, and was living in an unwinterized hunting lodge in northern Massachusetts and teaching cello lessons around and working as a dishwasher and a cook and, you know, just like that. It was the 70s, the early 70s. And in 1978, I decided that I should become a classical cellist as I had been in high school and try to get a job as a cellist. So I went back to school at the University of Arizona, and that's where I met Dean. And we did, we did a number of recordings in Arizona, and then I won an audition for the San Francisco Opera Orchestra. And then Dean and Dudley moved to California, to San Francisco. So we sort of followed each other. Uh, we did some recordings on Mount Lemmon, I remember, in Tucson. Uh, and then I got a job with the North Carolina Symphony. And for several of the recordings that I appear on, Dean would do synthesizers, synthesizer and flute and auto harp and viola and whatnot with he and you and, and some other players and then send me a digital videotape out to Raleigh, North Carolina, where I was living. This is now the 1990s. So already we've been together for 20 years. And... Uh, I, record, I would record cello tracks on, on top of it, like the Chakra and Ascension, I think, were made that way. But the best story is that Dean and I, it was the recording that we made on Mount Lemon. And I can't remember which video it was. But there was a store that was in, gone out of business since, but there was a store called Nature's Wonders in the malls all over the country there were these Nature's Wonders stores and they picked up this CD of Dean's that I was on. This is now 1994. And uh, we had just had, my, my wife and I had just had a baby. December 31st, 1994. And there were some complications, and it was expensive, and we didn't know how we were going to pay for it. And I opened up the mailbox the day that we brought the baby home from the hospital, and there was a royalties check for $6,000 from that, I guess it was Ascension, 
for that one, an hour of recording up uh, on Mount Lemmon that had happened like three or four years earlier. And so that was just so much fun. And, uh, you know, the years go by, the years go by, but uh, uh, I still take great pride and pleasure in the, the work that I did for Soundings of the Planet in addition to the mix of the rest of my life uh, as a classical cellist and then as an ethnomusicologist. Uh, and I've been for the last 30 years teaching at North Carolina State University. But I look back on those years, it's now what, almost 40 years ago, uh, with pride and I understand that uh, that um, Desert Dawn song is being re-released -re on CD. It's never been released on CD, right? But it was their first cassette of music. And I think it's gonna stand up very well. I think people will get a lot of pleasure out of it. I know that uh, yoga teachers and meditators will find something very, very special in young Dean and young Jonathan first Enterprise, Young Dudley, sorry about that, yes, who's singing and playing the, the harp. Uh, I think people will get a lot of pleasure out of the resurrection of this very early work, Desert Dawn Song. And I wish you, Soundings of the Planet, great success with it.